Hey, it's Roy Richardson, your friendly neighborhood tech troublemaker. And what if you have some digital artwork and you want to figure out how to turn them into NFTs and sell them? But then you found out if you sell them, you have to pay gas fees and you have to pay hosting fees. Wait, gas fees? What are gas fees? Oh, and what are NFTs? We're going to cover that and more. I'm going to show you how to list your digital artwork as NFTs and avoid paying those fees. Watch now. So what are NFTs? Non-fungible tokens. And I'll have a link to a video right here to show you what that is. Here I am. I'm on OpenSeas and I have chosen my wallet, which in this case is Coinbase. So I logged in with my Coinbase wallet and now it's unnamed. So I gotta name it something. Okay, so I'm going to pop up to some signatures. Well, that's looking more positive. Create. All right, import image. So I'm using Polygon because if I use Ethereum, that's going to be a gas fee. If I use Polygon, then the purchaser has to pay the gas fee. And the gas fee is a fee to do the mining of the coin in order to buy this. So there's that. And my second item. All right, so that's my collection. Ah, that's my username. Yeah, there we go. Profile has a name, that's good. There's my collection. Alright, I want to go change the name of my collection. So after I created my artwork in uh, OpenSea.io, it wouldn't let me rename the collection. There was something going on with the website. So I had to go back and step by step. So I hit edit. And then here's my collection. And then I uploaded a picture. And I'd already done that before. But it also had some recommendations on what size I should make. And it also suggested I add additional websites and stuff in order. And then I decided to do royalties. Royalties are every time my artwork will get sold, I'll get a royalty for somebody selling that. I chose 2.5%. What are royalties? Well, royalties, you can charge percentage every time your work is sold after the initial sale. So if your work is popular enough, you could keep making money every time your work is sold. For example, in my example, I'm going to charge 2.5%. And then I put in my payout wallet. And it's like your routing number for your bank account. So when they pay out, that's my Coinbase routing code to have the money go into that account. Here is my collection. So I finally got renamed, so I'm pretty happy about that. 
And now I want to go price it. But I have to go pay gas fees. What? So we want an NFT. We want to create it and we want to sell it. But we like to do it for free or at least cheaply. So you have to pay some fees perhaps. There's gas fees. Gas fees are basically what it costs to mint that NFT. Think about it. The Ethereum, that's the usual currency it comes that you buy things in in an NFT world. There's others, of course. But Ethereum, like any blockchain cryptocurrency, costs money to generate. Because basically, blockchain is doing all this processing and generating these transaction codes that lined up with the Ethereum. And so, making this cryptocurrency, this process happens using electricity. So, the gas fees are supposed to help offset whatever it takes to create your NFT. So, if you are paying a gas fee, and perhaps your host also charges a fee, um, OpenSeas, for example, usually charge about 2.5%. You have to make enough money on the sale of your NFT in order to pay those fees if you're paying them. So, that's something you have to be aware of. So you want to make what you think is a fair amount for your art. You want to make enough to pay any fees you have to pay. And you have to think about, you know, OpenSea is going to charge you 2.5%. So that's over and above. So you got to think about, hmm, how much will I make after I sell my NFT? So here's this one. And I'm going to click on the sell button. So we already went through the process of uploading everything. And during the night, it actually came up and said minted. I'm going to hit sell. And I'm going to do point zero four one. Whoa, too much. Left out of zero. Okay. $12.62. Now, that number is going to fluctuate. As Ethereum goes down in value or Ethereum goes up in value, that number is going to change. I'm going to do point zero zero four two. Why? Because life, the universe, and everything. Okay. Complete listing. Okay. So... I have to unlock my currency. Okay. So, sign. So, I'm signing it with my crypto wallet. And then, sign message using. Okay. So there it is. How do I promote my NFTs? Well, if you're an artist, the most visual medium is Instagram. It's a great place to promote your work. You can go out there and do Instagram posts and fit your examples of your work out there you can have a portfolio website that tells people to go buy your nfts however you would promote yourself in the art world you can use that also to promote your nfts for an opportunity to buy and but if you're doing like card collections like you know baseball card style collections of nfts then twitter seems to be the best place to host those that's kind of strange, isn't it? But that's where the biggest marketplace is for NFTs is in the Twitter space. And so you really could use both. There's no reason for you not to use them both. So I've listed my first artwork for sale. My first NFT. Is this exciting or what? It's very exciting. All right, so let's go pick another one. So now I have all my NFTs listed out there on the marketplace and so this is exciting let's gonna see do you think i'll get any sales i don't think it's gonna go quick and i did list it for six months so we'll see what happens but that's it that's how you take your nft so you take your artwork that you already have in digital form and then you have to have a wallet so i created a wallet a coinbase wallet in this case there are others out there you can pick your favorite and then I proceeded to um, upload my artwork and then I created an account, I turned it into a collection, and then I went back and I priced it all out. And it was a guess. And there you go, that's how I did it. 